of which reimbursed in the slot. Kelly Wendorf is saying that the interior improvements actually are a major focus of her thoughts on what will drive the increase in the tax increment for your building. Um, are we talking about AIDS or are we yeah, talking about building we're, we're talking about uh, ceramics oh. and start from. Okay. Uh, tin ceiling, I'm sure it's going to add a lot. Yeah. So I guess I'm misunderstanding. Well, the way I look at it, it you know, these distribution of funds are based on its payback over 15 to 20 years on your uh, property value increase. Yeah. So in this particular case, you know, uh, we asked for $6,000, right? Yep. Yeah. So, John, was your point that the assessor is going to revalue the property, giving more weight to the interior improvements than they are to the facade improvements. Well, certainly substantial weight, as I understand the exchange of correspondence. Um, so, let's hear the value of this property right now. Yeah. That doesn't impact our part, though. Only one minor, minor in this check. Because when we did the, the prior approval, we were talking in the context of facade improvements. Yes. Most of the money expended has been for facade improvement, but there have been some additional sums expended for interior improvements. Um, How could so, you do the facade without improving the inside? Well, you, have to, you have to trim out the windows, you got to do all the interior things. You can't leave if you put windows from... I, I guess I'm still not understanding the drift of what you're getting at. I think what you're saying is entirely valid, and but it was just a question of when this was first presented, it was facade improvement and so some of the thirty went for interior, therefore right. we're reimbursing for some of the interior. Right. Oh, because of so the total expenditure, the six thousand is a percentage of the total projected yeah. to us. I think we I, I well, think well, you need to do a revised statement, we have have all the bills there, John. Yeah, I, I, and, I, and I've got that. I don't um, understand what the big deal is, though, John. I mean, it, it, I mean we're just looking at. It. Why? I don't think there is, but yeah. why don't we make such progress as we can on the, the minutes now distributed? Uh, uh, I'll move approval. Okay. Oh, I thought we did that. Is there a second? No, we didn't. The, the only thing I can say about the minutes, and it's just simply a technical thing. In in the motion I made. Referred to as the Evansville Economic Development Authority, isn't it this committee, Evansville Redevelopment Authority? <laughs> You're right. Yes. Yes. So we should change the minutes to reflect that. And part of that reason being I'm the chairman of the Economic Development Committee, and somebody may misconstrue that. Yeah, he's correct. Very good. All right. Well, with that amendment, are we prepared to vote on the minutes? East Main, a couple of things to give you, and Jeff, if you want. When did you come across this board originally? Like a year ago? July? Oh, there you go. I'll take this. This is what I want. Maybe June or July? Right here. The 20% of the actual cost of improvements for. I, I guess right. what I'm struggling with, John, is that. In order for you to put the windows in the original size, there was drop ceilings in each one of those locations. So most of the improvements, you can't, I couldn't leave the drop ceilings the way they were, or you'd be looking in over the top of the drop ceilings after the facade was improved, which makes absolutely no sense. So a lot of the costs that we've incurred now in addition to what's on there would be to, to get that back to it so that it looks Yeah, I don't know. Really like with, with the windows. I agree with you. I, think well, I don't know why it's an issue. I mean, we've, we've approved uh, in 
interior improvements and other projects. Sure, yeah. The the only the only issue that the you want us to note that fact. That yeah. The the only issue that was raised by city staff and the mayor was the fact that our approval dealt with facade, and as it turned out, there were some other minor items that Jeff has so, identified having to do with the tin ceiling. And I think the concern is I think the concern is that this authority needs to be sure we are documenting and covering our. All right. Yeah, but she's got. You know, we you know you know some, we can go through this right now. So I think we have okay. the bare bones information to justify this project again. We were just kind of redoing it, and, and, and we move through the motions, and then we can be legal because there was some things done to the inside. Well, can I just ask a question, Jeff? First? Yeah. Go ahead. You projected the cost to be thirty thousand, of which that determined the six thousand. Correct. In your estimation, have you, because of interior improvements as well, or just what the project did actually come to, is it going to be more than thirty thousand? Yeah. So, can you? It would seem like math. We can just do it through math. Let's assume it's going to be forty thousand. That's approximately accurate. Ten thousand for interior improvements, thirty thousand for facade, of which the six is twenty percent. You, you, you may not have the bills with you now, like you said, but the, the math could that, work, that's probably could correct the issue in itself. Yeah. Yeah. Tony, I can elaborate on that. Um, the, the total amount of the bills submitted for the project was um, $34,500. Uh, and so they're looking for the reimbursement in accordance with the council's uh, approval, which was 20% of actual costs or $6,000, whichever is less. So they're looking for the lesser sum because they had also yeah. So uh, here's the way I look at it, uh, uh, as a pure nuts and bolts uh, uh, situation. I like to look at these whole tip things as you know, what's the bottom line. And it, on this memo that passed up between Hallie and Bill, uh, she was discussing the fact that his uh, assessment would increase, and she gives a range between $9,800 and $11,300 $11, a year. Okay? And my understanding, you put more money in the interior, so that actually could be higher than that. It could be higher. All right, based on that, and based on fact that they're at the uh, he's asking for six thousand dollars and and using the TID rate of two thousand five okay of twenty four uh, twenty three per thousand all right this project then would have a range of a payback of between twenty two and twenty five years which is a little bit outside of the scope of the TIF district uh, you know it's not a slam dunker. So you have to look at, okay, but it's kind of close to, if I look at to 15 and 20 years as being, being the uh, range that you want or, you know, or better. And so you have to look at, all right, I don't have to wait, is this project worth it for, uh, was it, did it turn out the way we wanted it to turn out? Obviously it looks good on the outside, and did it turn out economically the way we wanted it? Um, that's what it's way right now. In this case, it's a facade improvement. You wouldn't expect a big bump, but so it just helped the betterment of the whole downtown. So it's, it's to me, it's a good for our project. Did you guys catch where I got those numbers from? Uh, no, I don't know where you got the numbers from, but that's okay. It's all you can get it a month. Yeah, it's, it's right here. You yeah. have everything that we need. Okay. Yeah. Anyone else? Yeah, yeah. Like, kind of, yeah. yeah that, but, no, so right. the issue is yeah. we want want to document this appropriately, and that was part of the concern of the mayor, and two, yeah. it, it follows the guideline of the TIF, mm -hmm. that we didn't overextend or, or over, overextend the return or overextend the pay, so. Yeah, if it was a, it was a 20 year payback or less, then this would be a slam dunker. You know, it's the 22 to 25, okay, you gotta look at that and say, all right, it helps other things in the betterment of the community, so I think that the, the negativeness of the positive of the overall
profitability. Uh, in fact, if we were going to do a 20 year kit on this, uh, on this, well, my position is that the, yeah. the improvements were done in good faith. Sure. We didn't go above and beyond anything. They aren't asking for anything more than what was approved. The project is beautiful. The increment is there. It will, it will increase the value. This is you can something else. You can go on. What's that? Yeah. This you can go on. This is not what you. If we can proceed with this, this motion, we can make a motion and go on. Is that a motion? I make a motion that we approve the six hundred six thousand dollar grant reimbursement to Lewis Blue Farms for for twelve and fourteen East Main Street restoration based on submitted documentation of costs. About six thousand dollars. Yeah, I'll yeah take, yes. I'll take that motion. Or any further discussion? Yeah, I just did one last calculation on this, uh, to, uh, Chris, and, and that would be the the twenty year time frame I was looking at for a decent project would be fifty five hundred dollars. So you know, we're talking five hundred dollars. So I'd say it's well worth it. And you did a good job. Well, another way to look at it is uh, the city paid six thousand dollars towards that project. Yeah. And you look at that building. Compared to what it looked like six months ago. It's a pretty good investment. Dramatic improvement. Oh, yeah. yeah that was it's good gorgeous. It was a good investment. It's fabulous. Yeah, just so you understand what what I'm trying to communicate here is there were some minor expenditures that were not purely facade included in the total. But to me, Max Nix, because you exceeded the thirty thousand yeah. dollars to begin with, but the issue needed to be addressed. Yeah, we just well, it either needs to be addressed now or it should have been addressed at the onset with a little clearer motion. That would have, I think, into account that you would have had to have done some interior review. Well, the, the things now you're clear. I think you understand that if you if in the future you feel that the effect of if you were to do another facade improvement in front of this this board, that if you felt it could have an impact on the need to do interior ratification as well, to make sure you document that in your proposal. This would have just said facade and other improvements. And we as a committee need to remember that and maybe bring attention to any other individuals. Is this going to have an impact on your interior? And required expenditures. What, what specifics are you talking about? Uh, Butch and Electric for 865. Um, to rewire the, the, the electrical that was on the front facade by the change. Okay. We have to do that. And to wire the air conditioner that had to be moved uh, to a substantially different location because where those, those air conditioners were sit, sitting above the doors on platforms. Dad was all in favor of leaving them right where they were. I had to have them rewired, so I guess I don't see how that's an inside improvement. Okay, the other that raised some question was how heating for $50, $250. That's the air conditioner. If you wanted to, that would have looked hideous to leave them just like that. There was no air conditioner sitting there in 19. And if you, whether you want it structurally or, or historically correct, it would have been silly or it would look terrible to have those air conditioners sit in the exact same location that they did. Because you're taking away from the effect of, of the facade improvement. So I think it's a technicality. I, I think wiring and well, heating. I, I guess we gotta look at this thing a little closer, but that certainly wasn't brought up when we brought this presentation to what we'd have to do. Did I know I was gonna have to do that? Well, I overlooked it and that's an override. Certainly, uh, fifty two hundred dollars for hall and eight hundred for butch. I didn't really anticipate those costs. And I think the point that we're making is we understand that now. And I think at the beginning, rather than at the end when we're ready to hand over the money, we, we want to make sure we clarify the future. I, I think it's clear to your project, and I think we're in agreement that you still qualify for what you're asking. At no, 
won't fall for years, but you can be clear in addressing those issues with somebody else that applies and, and or if you are involved in another one, you, you will be prepared for that too. Okay. All those in favor of the motion, see what I say aye. 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 Was not. This does not require council action. No. The board approved the expenditure. We're just ratifying the work was done. We're satisfied. Great. Right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Do we want to name it on for ACE or? Unless somebody shows up, we're not going to be able to vote. Do you have a cell phone on you? Who am I calling? Call Roger Roth or Betsy Ainer. Or um, Tom Colley. Or Tom Colley. Roth's number is 4761. Betsy's after him just forget. forgot. The first mm -hmm. item is a discussion. Uh, so we just need one? Is that? Yeah, we need one. Suggest you just look at the rough draft, see if that's the direction you want to go, and then I will ship it to the city attorney for him to Leave flesh it out. Mm -hmm. This, the, the, okay. I, I, was the agreement at our last meeting, my understanding was you were going to take the grain store agreement, send it to the attorney, and have them draft a copy. Well, you, you have to provide direction of what you want in it before he can do anything. Right. But I mean, we thought we were just amending well, that's the Grange one. No. It's a three party one. The Grange store was completely different because no. there were three parties that's in true. it. That's true. Mm -hmm. I, I think we could review it reasonably. Well, I'll take a minute and read it then. Do you, do you have a copy for Jeff? So he... Project costs have gone up slightly now. Slightly. Well, wasn't that because they added the cost of the leaders? You know, the year ago, and they estimated 1.9 million, now it's over two. Well, that's right. The, the higher number is with the cost of the building. That's we, just got, we discussed last week. Yeah, they said before that they were going to leave. Okay. Okay. Any other items? Is that 
this project or that's the other one. Yeah, you may have changed that council. I also gave you copies of the page before. Yeah. Yeah. It says here it determines the eagle. It's a part of a sentence, but uh, it's less that's, than the Yeah, I gave you the other pages too. Okay. But I actually did draft language on the second page to incorporate the additional hundred thousand dollars. So. Okay. All right. Well, let's skip over page one and move through the eight items. Page one is. There. Improvements by owner no later than December 31st, 2007. Is that a reasonable date for you to have work done? Mm -hmm. okay. Also, number five refers to how circumstances out of control if you work for longer. Right. And then invoices by March 31st, 2008. Same little issue that we had tonight regarding uh, whether they were inside improvements or exterior. And we're not limited by any of that. Because obviously, a lot of renovation here is interior. Yeah, well, I think the heating, ventilation, cooling, plumbing, lighting, plumbing. Well, I, I guess my issue, Chris, is that when we bring in the uh, bills to be reimbursed, are we then going through them again and saying, well, scrutinizing it as to what that had to do with the improvement, whether it was it's going to be beneficial to the TID district on the money allocation. In other words... But this is not a facade grant, is it? It's full. All right, so we're not... If you're addressing the issue from, the, from your dad's building, that was different. Because that was... Evidently, evidently, we're taking the bills and scrutinizing them to see if it justifies whether that money was utilized correctly in development of the TIP and the payback. Is the same thing going to happen here? Now, we're not talking chunk change on this one. This is a little bigger deal. It's not 6000 It's bigger dollars than that. I guess I want to make sure that when we're scrutinizing this thing on re-looking at the bills that have been presented uh, to the city you know, on behalf of the TIP, is there anything that we're going to be subject to uh, on scrutinizing that that we're going to knock some things out on the basis of what we're spending the money on? Well, that's why that paragraph is in there. So if there's something missing, uh, then you need to tell us that. For example, there's nothing in there about the parking lot. If you were to come back and say, well, we resurfaced the parking lot behind the building, we want, that, we want to be reimbursed 25% of that. It's not a parking lot. Exactly. It's just an example. Okay. Uh, but anything related to the building, I would think, you know, it says including but not limited to, but I would think if there's something, you know, an HVAC item of some sort or, or a structural item of some sort, uh, architectural expenditures for an architect, for example, for drawings, now, have you guys been privy to see the bids or you have on um, where we're coming up with this $2 million? No, I haven't seen anything. Well, we saw the plans at the last meeting that Roger brought in. Remember? And you looked at them. Oh, well, yeah, they didn't have any numbers on them. Yeah. Well, I, I guess my only concern is, is that, you know, I'm only one representative of the of the uh, DICES 2 group. Right. But you know, obviously we're all doing, doing tax districts downtown, okay? Yeah. And now it kind of comes out that on the, on the other one, I guess I'm kind of going back to the 1214 East Main project that, uh, well, how did that improve? Is it going to be under that scrutiny that the items that were spent, the money that you're allocating for this, is actually done you know, on behalf of improving the tax rate or the tax uh, development that you're getting from the building, I guess I don't want to be under that scrutiny. Right. Well, there will be scrutiny to the extent that we're going to look at all the bills. I understand that. Uh, but 
Are we going to better throw out this one because that didn't have anything to do with improving the increment on the building? Well, what type of things would and wouldn't improve the increment on the building? Can we identify that now? Well, we just, we just, Roger, you weren't here. We just went through it where, and I'm, I'm, I'm a little dismayed by the whole thing that it wouldn't be assumed that I have to do something with the ceilings in the buildings, and that's seen as an interior improvement rather than an exterior improvement on star printing buildings. Oh, okay. And when, when we're looking at the bills, evidently Hallie Wendorf is saying, well, some of these improvements were not delineated as far as facade improvements, but they're inside improvements. And that's not what we allocated that money for. Well, you could have just left it that way. You could have dropped ceilings down three feet from the upper ceiling. To, to me, if Hallie's making that request, that's absolutely ridiculous. And so I'm just wondering now, with ACE, much bigger project, much bigger dollars, I mean, if we had to eat some of what we said, even though you did originally agree to the facade improvement at 20% on $30,000, this is a whole bigger chunk of change here, which could actually have some ultimate effect in whether this thing actually works. Well, what type of items wouldn't be considered, wouldn't fall under this, under this? I'm not I'm sure, Roger, sure. because it seemed ridiculous to me to say, pull apart the bills that we've already given on the other side of the street, that those aren't uh, correlated pretty highly with facade improvement. Well, what Jeff is saying is, in his mind, had we asked him the same question at the beginning of the 12-14 main, he would not have brought up the drop ceiling issue because he, he assumes that reasonably valid, that it, it's part of what made the facade work. So he's having a difficulty imagining something that in his mind would fit the criteria that somebody else may think he doesn't. Right. We just don't I, want any assumptions. But it appears to me that the project and, and the, the monies we're directing to this is different in that it's all, in, well, maybe that's not the right term, all inclusive, but it's, in, it's, it's Building improvements, not facade versus outside versus inside. It's the building. It was from the minutes. The minutes from February yeah. talk about a renovation of the building for the Eager Building. Yeah. Your project, it talks about facade improvements. They, they, they're they identified differently from back in February. Yeah, I don't think that's a great thing. Yeah. The, the, the issue he's having a problem with, and I have a bit of a problem with too, is how the assessor got in on this. Because that was never part, any part of our discussion. Never had it, I, I didn't know anything. Never about any part of our consideration. Yeah, of, see, I, of all problem. I did was go back and find out what's in the record because Bill isn't here. Well, I'm not pointing any fingers. Yeah. I'm just saying, yeah. uh, you know, I don't think you were even here at the time when we talked about it. Maybe you were. But the assessor was never part of our discussion. Yes, I, I can't clarify the point. Back in January, there was a point counterpoint in Bill's discussion of this project, and Haley said, you know, on facade improvements, I can't give you an increment here because the facade alone won't generate it. And the counterpoint was that you were asking for the basis of the approval of the redevelopment agency as far as evaluating the project that increment alone was not going to be the factor alone, right. and that it didn't justify, didn't create the increment, and that, but it was going to be a longer payback, and the approval was given. Similar on this thing. There's a million dollar gap here between what, what the appraisal and what the deal is, but the developers are promising that they will pay the increment. Right. Yeah, it, so this is all moot. It's this all is moot. all moot. That's what I think. So I, this was pointed out. There was a debate about it. It was on the blog. And it, it's just a, a problem getting this together, I think, as far as what. Your, your real battle is yeah. going to be coming down the road after you're done making your building is to see what the heck they're going to, what she's going to pick for your assessed value. Yes. So we're, we're, that's your real battle. It will be but battle. It shouldn't, it shouldn't be no, because we've already agreed. We've already 